Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today we are going to talk about some new makeup releases, things that have been sneaked or launched in the past week. Honestly, there is not too much to talk about today. This is probably going to be a shorter video. Not much exciting really anyway. While I'm going through all of these releases, I want to hear from you down in the comments. Are you interested in them? Do you dislike them? Do you like them? Do you not care? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm going to let you know my thoughts and we're all going to respect each other's opinion, right? I'm going to link everything I can down below in the description box, links to websites, links to the products themselves, also the Instagram accounts that I'm pulling from, any launch date information I will put down in the description box, as well as everything that is on my face today. If not, it's in a pinned comment if I can't fit it in the description box. But enough talking, let's get to it. So Unearthly Cosmetics, which is one of my favorite brands, if you've been here before, you know how I feel. They are releasing liquid eyeliners in two sets of four liners. Does that make sense? I hope so. So there is the Immortal Liner Set Cursed and the Immortal Liner Set Hexed. That is a tongue twister. Each of the sets are $36 and they have four waterproof liquid eyeliners. And it looks like some of them have shifts to them, like duochromes. These look really fun. I'm not really one for like a shifty, colorful liquid liner, but I will try anything that unearthly releases. I do have a code with the brand. It is Rachel. If you want to save 10% off, you can use the code. I'm pretty sure on these products, they will work. It is affiliated. So thank you so much. If you do use my code, they are also releasing lip liners, which I think is really, really cool. Amanda, the owner of unearthly did do swatches on the unearthly Instagram and the colors that they are releasing in this lip liner formula look really different. There are some of those usual uh, kind of like brownie nudes, but there's a black, there's a purple, there's an orange. So there's some kind of different colors as well, which makes sense because their satin liquid lipsticks come in several different colors as well. They retail for $6 each, which is very, very affordable. And I'm very excited to try these out. I am getting the lip liners and the eyeliners in PR, which I'm so thankful for. I'm really excited to give them a shot. I will definitely use them on camera at some point to show you how they work out. Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, I love that she's just like building her arsenal of products. Like pretty soon they're gonna have everything, which I'm all here for because I love the brand. I think their stuff is top-notch quality. So they are all available on the Unearthly website now. So I will link them down below. So is Amaya Beauty, which is, very interesting beauty brand. You remember the uh, lipsticks that they released? We all remember. Well, they're releasing a new collection. So this is the Isamaya Beauty Industrial 2.0 collection. We have a 2.0 palette for $115. Typical pricing for them, but I'm not interested. I'm not interested, but maybe you are. So I wanted to mention it. We have the 2.0 lip lacquers for $38 each. The lip lacquers look like they are metallic. One is a silver and one is like in red orange. And then we have a pair of earrings, the industrial earrings for $155. Okay. It is available now on their website. I will link it down below. Uh, you know, I'm really not interested in this brand necessarily. It's just not my vibe. Their palettes that they come out with are mostly shimmer palettes. And of course they're very expensive in my opinion, which is cool if that's something that you wanna buy. But for me, I'd rather spend that money on something else personally. I'm not one for like an all shimmer palette. It's just not my thing. I love mattes and I love palettes that have mattes and shimmers in them. And this is just kind of out of my tax bracket, if I'm gonna be honest. But let me know if you've tried the brand and what your experience is, what your thoughts are. Are you planning on picking this up? I would really love to know your thoughts. Something that released today that I did talk about last week is the Blend Bunny Sugar and Grunge collection. I am actually wearing that on my eyes today. I did a neutral look, which if you know me, I love to be able to do a neutral look and a colorful look with a palette. So you can get a neutral look out of the palette. I simply used the brown row, like with the brown shades. So they are, and I didn't say this last week because at the time I didn't know, they're also releasing three matte lip creams. These are the same formula as the All Done Up lip creams, a soft, comfortable matte, Moody, a pink leaning grayish slash taupe, Runaway, a deep true brown, and Sweetheart, a cooler rose pink. Now they are apparently late to arriving to the warehouse. So if you did order the lip products with the palette, 
your order's not gonna ship out till the lip products arrive. So it may ship out a little later. That's what she said on the Instagram. They are priced at $12 each. It's already launched by the time you're watching this. I will link it down below, but let me know if you picked up the collection. Did you pick up the palette? Did you pick up the palette and the lip products? I actually did end up placing an order for the lip products. I did get the palette sent in PR, but I wanted the lip products. I've never tried the matte lip cream from Blend Money and I wanted to try it. I also picked up their other blush palette, the Juicy Cheeks, cause I only bought the Bare Cheeks. I'm wearing the Bare Cheeks on my cheeks today. And I picked up their highlighter palette, which I didn't pick up before. So I did a little Blend Bunny shopping spree. Stop it, get some help. Let me know your thoughts if you picked it up or if you skipped on it. Rare Beauty is coming out with a slew of new products, none of which I am interested in. So we have the All of the Above Weightless Eyeshadow Sticks. Eyeshadow sticks are a thing. I'm really not a fan of eyeshadow sticks. I really don't use them. I occasionally will use one basically as an eyeliner in my waterline, like I did not too long ago for my Blend Bunny video. I used one of the e.l.f. shadow sticks in my waterline, but I can't remember the last time I used a shadow stick on my lid. For me, it's a pass, but it looks like all of them are shimmer eyeshadow sticks. It says a super creamy do-it-all eyeshadow stick that makes it easy to line, shade, smoke out, and highlight eyes all in one with crease resistant color. They are available on July 6th for $22 each. Are you an eyeshadow stick person? Let me know. Uh, I'm interested to know your opinion on it. I'm not gonna pick these up. They're also releasing the Perfect Strokes Gel Eyeliners for $19. It looks like there's three shades, a dark brown, a black, and a burgundy. And they're also releasing brow products, the Brow Harmony Precision Pencils for $19. They look like they have a slightly slanted tip to them kind of like the ABH brow definer type of situation. Uh, I'm not interested in picking any of these up, but I get, again, kind of like what I said with Unearthly, they're just trying to build their arsenal, trying to get, probably eventually their goal is to get every type of makeup product in their line, right? That makes the most sense to me. So I get it, but it's just not something I'm interested in picking it up. They are all available on July 6th, so stay tuned. Keys Soul Care, we haven't ha heard from them in a while. So they are coming out with a new product. This is the It's Like Skin 2-in-1 Concealer and Tint. Okay. So it says it's a multitasking skin tint that brightens and blurs for a naturally radiant skin-like finish. 2-in-1 offering can be used as a spot concealer or all over skin tint. That sounds like a light coverage concealer to me, but okay. Buildable light to medium coverage with 2% niacinamide and squalane blend, an extension of their Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum, 40 shades, that's a lot of shades for $28. I'm surprised how many shades there are, especially if it's a light coverage skin tint, but that's great, I love that. Um, this is not a product for me, uh, I'll be really honest with you. If I'm gonna wear a concealer, it's gonna be medium coverage at least. I don't do light coverage concealers. They do nothing for me. I'd rather just not wear makeup, <laughs> to be honest. So that's just my opinion though. I know a lot of people love a light, light coverage concealer. You know, for a long time, Alicia Keys was anti-wearing makeup and now she's kind of dipping into the makeup realm, which I think is great. I mean, people change their mind. That's part of life. That's part of growth. I don't think it's a problem to decide you wanna wear makeup now, that's cool. And, but it is very on brand where it's like makeup that's like no makeup makeup. You know what I'm saying? So I think for a lot of people, this will be great. It's not my journey. It's not something that I, I don't do no makeup makeup. I do makeup makeup. I'm pretty sure it is available now, so I will link it down below. There is a sneak peek from Bella Butte Bar. So the sun and the sea remastered. It says this was their first, one of the first palettes they ever released. It's been completely redone with our new formulas and we've added some really intense and beautiful multi-chromes. Can't wait to show you coming in July. I am very interested in this. I was just watching Aniela Kanikvist's new makeup releases video and she said that it's a smaller palette, which I like. I have been wanting to buy their recent releases, but they've just been so big. Like the palettes are so big. I'm not like a huge fan of a giant palette. I mean, I'll, listen, I love eyeshadow. I love all eyeshadow. If someone bought it for me, I wouldn't say take it back, but it's just not like my preference. I prefer a smaller-ish, like a 12 pan palette, a 16 pan palette, a nine pan palette. So I'm very excited to see what this is. I'm patiently awaiting it because if it is a color story that intrigues me, I'm definitely gonna plan to pick it up. I've only bought one palette from the brand. They're 
Valentine's Day launch that they did earlier this year and I really enjoyed it. And from what I've heard from creators, their formulas are getting better and better. So very anxious to see what this is. Are you excited as well? I know a lot of people love the brand. Sephora Collection is also coming out with a few new products. So they're coming out with the Soft Matte and Easy Liquid Lipstick, a liquid lipstick with medium buildable and high impact matte coverage that lasts all day. And they're gonna be $15 each. There's quite a few shades. And the model that they have it on almost looks like a like a popsicle effect, right? Where it's almost like an ombre lip, velvet lip. I'm not a huge fan of matte liquid lipsticks. I really don't love them. I don't really wear them. The only time I'm really gonna buy a matte liquid lipstick is if one of my favorite brands releases them, like Blend Bunny, like Unearthly Cosmetics. Then I wanna try them out and test them out just because I wanna have a good knowledge about the brand and I wanna support the indie brand that I really enjoy. But something like this is just not of interest to me but they are affordable matte lipsticks at Sephora if that is something you're looking for, of course. So according to the Instagram post that I'm looking at, there's three shades of a bullet lipstick that Sephora collection is releasing. It's the matte velvet lipstick, a soft but powerful formula that delivers explosive long lasting color and up to eight hours of hydration in just one swipe. They're getting real creative with the copyright for a bullet lipstick, right? I mean, they have to somehow draw us in and not just say, it's a matte bullet lipstick. Here's the price. $15 each. <sighs> okay. And then the last product that I see that they're coming out with is the Best Skin Ever Matte Powder Foundation. I know a lot of people love their Best Skin Ever line, the concealer, as well as the foundation. I've heard great things about it. So now they're coming out with a powder foundation. It's a full coverage, 40 shades, $20. $20 is very affordable. 40 shades, that doesn't look like 40 shades. One, two, three. I'm seeing 28 shades, but maybe not all the shades are pictured. I'm confused. If all of these new Sephora collection products are available, I will link them down below. I should have mentioned this in the Unearthly Cosmetics segment, but they are also releasing new satin liquid lipstick bundles. So they have three bundles where they've grouped them together in kind of like a color story family type of thing. We have one that's like all like pinks and reds and purples. Then we have more grungy tones and then we have nudes. So all of the sets are, you're getting five liquid lipsticks for $60. I think it's fun. I think it's smart. I like the satin liquid lipstick formula from Unearthly Cosmetics. They don't dry down all the way. They don't dry down to like a matte drying liquid lipstick type of formula. So I appreciate that. And I really love the packaging of them. I think they're super cute. So if this is something you were kind of thinking about trying out and you like one of the bundles, I think it's really fun. Okay, last week I talked about the NYX and Barbie collection. I said, I really didn't like it. I thought it was kind of cheap looking, not something that I was interested in, but I think this Barbie collab looks super cute and it's kind of random, but it is a collaboration between Barbie and Glass House Fragrances. So it is a candle and I think this is really, really cute. So it's the Barbie Dream House soy candle and it is in the fragrance family of gourmand i don't really talk about fragrances here because i'm not a fragrance girl like i wore the same fragrance only fragrance for many 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 years and i stopped wearing it maybe a couple years ago and i just wear whatever like i get gifted for christmas or like the sol de janeiro body sprays those do me good so i'm not like an aficionado when it comes to fragrance but i just thought this candle was cute but i will say it's 59.95 so maybe if you're like a really big Barbie fan, this would be really cute. I'm gonna link this Instagram post if you wanna check out like all the notes and everything, but I really like the look of it is kind of what I'm getting at. We have a weekly Tarte release. I feel like Tarte is becoming the ColourPop of like the high-end world, right? They're releasing new stuff every single week, it seems like. And I think this was released more than a week ago, but I missed it. Anyway, so they're coming out with stick bronzers and stick blushes. There's only three blush shades and seven bronzer shades, which I thought was interesting. They're all $26 each. And from the picture where the model's holding it, they look tiny. But for some reason, they also look pleasing to the eye, right? I may be coerced into picking these up. I'm not sure. I did buy the ColourPop cream bronzer. It hasn't come to me yet. So maybe I'll wait to see what that one's about. But the cream bronzer sticks, it says it's a velvety formula with a satin finish. It blends like a dream. Okay. 
that's good. And not really much information about the finish on the blush stick. So they are available now on Tarte's website. So I will link them down below. Martine Cosmetics is an indie brand that I've personally never tried, but I always love the look of their collections. I think they do a really good job. So they just released a new collection. This is the Neon Nitro Speed collection. So there's quite a few products in the collection. There's an eyeshadow palette, a face palette, I believe pencil eyeliners and liquid liners. The post is not in English, so I'm just looking at the picture. But I think a lot of brands are, for summertime, are doing these like really colorful rainbow-esque palettes, which makes sense for the season. I've always been interested in the brand, and if you've tried the brand, I would love to know your opinion and your thoughts on your experience with their, particularly their eyeshadows. And Heather Austin did do a video on this collection. I did watch it. I can link it down below if you're interested in checking it out. She's really the only YouTuber that I personally follow that reviews their stuff most of the time. I know sometimes Karen Harris does as well. I'm not gonna pick this up, but it's definitely something that I wanted to point out that I thought was really pretty. Let me know your thoughts on it. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is another indie brand, Shroud Cosmetics. They are releasing a new palette and this is the Peaches and Dreams palette. I love this. I think it's very spring. Like when I look at it, I think of Easter, like Easter eggs almost. It is launching today, which the day that I'm filming this, which is June 30th at 12 p.m. PST, 3 p.m. EST. And it says, inspired by summer sunsets, juicy peaches and daydreams, the Peaches and Dreams palette features our signature velvet matte formula in five vibrant shades and five ultra shifty and ultra sparkly shimmers. I love the size of the palette. I think the actual packaging is absolutely adorable. And the color story is fun, but it's not something that I'm gonna pick up right now at this moment. But I wanted to show it to you because I thought it was really, really pretty. I do own both of Betty Jean's collabs with Shroud and I really, really love the palettes. I think the formulas of both the mattes and the shimmers are spectacular. If this is the same good quality, I think this would be a great purchase, but I'm gonna skip on it for now. Editing Rachel popping in real quick. I just wanted to mention that there is no new ColourPop release this week, which I thought was interesting, but they are doing a 30% off site-wide sale. So I will link that down below if you're interested in checking out anything on the website that you've been eyeing. This is probably a good chance to pick it up. All right, and that is it for this new makeup releases video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on any of the new releases that I talked about today or ones that I didn't talk about today. I don't talk about every single thing that launches when I do my new makeup releases videos just because a lot of times I don't really have an opinion on a lot of things. But if there is something that I missed out on that you're interested in, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.